He is known for being an American musician and composer from New Orleans, Louisiana. He moved to Europe to study in Paris in 1855 and settled in France. His name is Edmund D.D. In the rich musical tapestry of New Orleans, one name stands out, Edmund D.D., a legendary musician and composer. Born a free Creole in Louisiana, D.D.'s passion for music led him on an extraordinary journey across the Atlantic. In 1855, he made the bold decision to move to Paris, seeking to hone his craft and share his art with the world. Once in Paris, D.D. immersed himself in the vibrant music scene of the city. His compositions, such as the Quasimodo Symphony, Le Pamier Overture, Le Serment de l'Arabie, and Patriotism, showcased his immense talent and creativity. These works became cornerstones of orchestral music, leaving an indelible mark on the field. The Quasimodo Symphony, in particular, captivated audiences with its emotive melodies and sweeping orchestration, earning D.D. accolades and recognition as a master composer. D.D.'s musical journey continued for over four decades, during which he worked as an assistant conductor at the prestigious Grand Theatre. His skills and dedication soon propelled him to the position of conductor of the orchestras at the Theatre El Alcazar and the Folies Bordelaises in Bordeaux. His leadership and artistry elevated performances to new heights, enchanting audiences with his ability to capture the essence of each composition. Edmund D.D.'s legacy as a pioneering musician and composer endures to this day. His compositions not only showcased his remarkable talent but also pushed the boundaries of orchestral music. Through his works, he left an indelible mark on the field, inspiring generations of musicians to come. D.D.'s story is a testament to the power of passion and the enduring impact of music on the human soul. In the early 1860s, Edmund D.D. arrived in Bordeaux, eager to pursue his passion for music. He secured a position as the assistant conductor for the ballet at the renowned Grand Theatre. But D.D.'s ambitions didn't stop there. Within a few years, he found himself employed at the Theatre El Alcazar, a popular café concert in the city. His talent and dedication were undeniable, and in the 1870s, he made his way to the prestigious Folies Bordelaises, where he continued to compose and create art. D.D.'s ultimate goal was to have his compositions performed at the esteemed Grand Theatre. He poured his heart and soul into his music, hoping for the opportunity to showcase his talents on that grand stage. But life had other plans for him. It was Samuel Snare, Jr., an African-American conductor and musician, who conducted the first performance of D.D.'s Quasimodo Symphony in New Orleans. This momentous occasion took place on May 10, 1865, at the New Orleans Theatre, captivating a large audience of influential free people of color and northern whites. Unfortunately, D.D. couldn't be present at this significant event. Despite his absence, D.D.'s reputation continued to grow, and his compositions gained recognition. In 1893, after settling in Bordeaux for many years, he made a long-awaited return to New Orleans. However, his journey was marred by misfortune when the freighter he was on sank, leading to a daring rescue. Despite the setback, D.D. arrived in New Orleans to a warm welcome. Three benefit concerts were organized in his honor, with the participation of New Orleans musical innovators and elite. The concerts brought together renowned figures like William J. Nickerson, Jelly Roll Morton's teacher, and members of the Citizens Committee, a group of social and legal activists who would later challenge the infamous Plessy v. Ferguson ruling in 1896. Edmund D.D.'s musical journey came to an end on January 5, 1903, in Paris. However, his compositions continue to be cherished and preserved at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France. In recognition of his contributions to music, on November 20, 2021, Google honored DDS 194th birthday with a special, Google Doodle, featured on its US homepage, ensuring that his legacy lives on for generations to come. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.